Daily Prep Sunday, October 17th, 2021 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time Daily Prep Sunday, October 17th, 2021 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time The Holy Gospel according to St. Mark James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus says to them, You don't know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, We can. Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned to them and said to them, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, Whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord May you continue to imitate our master teacher who came to serve rather than be served. Three key concepts are presented for our thoughts today. Servanthood, suffering, and redemption. They are integrally linked not only in the life of Jesus, but in our lives. Today's first reading is part of one of the suffering servant songs in Isaiah. It speaks of how the sufferings of the servant of God leads to justification for the multitude and ultimate glory for the servant. The psalm is reminded that the Lord delivers us from death. In the reading from the letter to the Hebrews, Jesus is presented as the great high priest who, human like us, has entered into the presence of God in order to dispense graces to us. The Gospel is the account of James and John asking Jesus for places of honor in his reign. Jesus responds to them, showing they are asking the wrong question. Honor and glory come from suffering and being a servant, not from sitting at a special place and being served. As I reflect on the readings, I am reminded that suffering is not only part of human life, it can be a way of being united with others and actually be a way of participating in the salvific plan of God. 
although God does not wish suffering on our people, God allows suffering to happen in order to remind us of how much God has loved us in allowing the Son of God to become human like us and experiencing all aspects of human life, including temptation, suffering, and death. God, in the person of Jesus, has accepted suffering to show the connection between God and us. God wants us to know how much the Lord Jesus identifies with us so that we will more fully identify with him. Jesus, in the most dramatic ways possible, demonstrates the divine love for us by coming as the Messiah, who is truly the suffering servant. Service of others involves giving up one's self. The ultimate act of service and giving up one's self is by being willing to die for the sake of others so that they might live. Think of the five fighters who risked their lives and gave their lives in order to try to save others. Think of the soldiers who have fought, suffered, and even died to maintain our way of living. Jesus did even more. He gave up his place at his Abba's side, the position of ultimate honor. He humbled himself by limiting himself to our human nature. He served people with his words of encouragement and truth. He ministered to their needs through his healing miracles. He fully identified with us through his temptations, not just in the desert at the beginning of his ministry, but all in the way up to his agony in the garden and his death on the cross. He gave himself fully to others as the both of the great high priest and the victim in the ultimate sacrifice on the cross. And he demonstrated the victory he won over sin and death by his resurrection and his ascension to the true holy of holies in the heavenly presence of his Abba. And he continues to intercede for us throughout our human journey. Reflecting on Jesus as the suffering and redeeming servant is absolutely important. It does not, however, end there. Our thinking about what Jesus has done and continues to do for us should open our eyes and motivate us to be true disciples of our master teacher. It should give us encouragement when we suffer it should lead us to be servants. If you want to be sharers in the joyful blessings in the reign of God, we must be willing to follow the example of our master teacher in our living out of faith, in serving and ministering to others, instead of expecting to be served and thinking of ourselves. We should think of others and see how we can bring them the experience of God's loving and serving them. When we have to give up ourselves by dying to self, in service of others, in suffering and ultimately in our own death, it is then that we are most closely united with our suffering servant Messiah. It is then that our eyes will be open to what it means for us to have redemption through the life, ministry, death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus. The personal question or action for today, what does it mean to me to be part of the reign of God 
and share in the fullness of Jesus' reign as the suffering servant king. Do I seek to be served more than I seek to serve? When I have experienced suffering, have I been able to sense how much Jesus was willing to serve to suffer for me? How can I be more of a servant leader to those whom I encounter in my home, my work, in the wider community? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God of all peoples. Through your goodness, you have revealed your desire to have a share in your life. As the greatest sign of your love for us, you sent your Son, Jesus, to share in our human life so that we might be able to share in your life. He was born as a human and identified with all aspects of our life except the sin. He experienced laughter, laughter and joy, pain and sorrow, temptation and suffering, even though he was one with you in essence. He did not seek to be served and honored as his heavenly being rightfully demanded. Instead, he humbly served others through his teaching, ministry, his suffering and death. He gave us the sample of what it means to be a suffering servant and leader, caring for others, even at the cost of his own sake and his own life. We, like the disciples, Shame and John, have often sought to be important and be served by others. We have failed to follow the example of Joshua in loving service of others. Continue to share with us the forgiveness and pardon Jesus earned for us by his death and resurrection. With the power of your Holy Spirit in our lives, inspire us to be servants of others, even in our suffering and to the point of death. We lift this prayer of praise and thanks to you in the name of your Son, Jesus, who is living and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Hãy subscribe cho